We had the greatest economy in the history, not of our country, in the world. We were beating everybody. We were beating China. Remember, if you go back, some of you go back. If you go back 10 years, 15 years, five years, everything was in 2019, China will overtake the United States as the largest economy. And that didn't work out too well for them. That didn't work out. We were, we were just doing leaps and bounds. We were doing so great. And then we got hit with the plague, the China plague. And we're not, uh, we're not thrilled. It's a disgrace. Nobody should have died. Nobody should have died. We got hit. The whole world got hit. But they stopped it from going into the rest of China. They stopped it from going into China, but they didn't stop it from coming into the U.S. and Europe and 188 countries. And we're developing a vaccine in record time. It will be ready before the end of the year and maybe much sooner than that. They're very unhappy about that. You know, it's amazing. We have a couple of really great experts. One who's, we call him Dr. Scott. You know what I'm talking about? He's great. He said, you know, this is the only time they were grilling them on television, saying, well, the vaccine's going too fast. You know why that's too fast? Because they don't want it to happen before the election. So now they're trying to hurt the vaccine, and they're trying to say as many bad things. They know nothing about it, but they're trying to hurt it. And it's a shame. But he said it better than anybody I've heard. He said, you know, you're trying to hurt this country by saying bad things about the vaccine because we're going to produce it early. It's the craziest thing. Think about it. Now, having a vaccine is good, but we're rounding the turn regardless. We're rounding the turn, and it's happening. I mean, it's happening. You see it.